Hi guys welcome back again it's the next day today i'm 37 weeks and three days pregnant um since 11 a.m i've been feeling some braxton hicks i know that there are braxton hicks because on my previous video i told you guys about them so they are on the other side not like they are not that intense like the previous one but i'm not scared because i can differentiate between false labor and labor pain so this one suggests nothing and then in the meantime i'm going to read this book while i'm still waiting for abigail <coughs> Trivi, while i am this pregnant I, I don't think it's okay i don't think it's okay and you guys you can see i don't i don't put seat belt i just put it there but i don't i don't use it unless i see some traffic cops then i didn't want to come today but in the morning abigail was telling me that she can't wait to see her friends I don't know if she's here for the friends or she's just here for physical fitness and the boy the boy is moving so much with abigail i delivered when i was 38 weeks and then some girl was telling me that um it might be even longer than that because apparently i don't know if this is a myth or it's like that when you are carrying a baby boy you might deliver even exactly for two weeks i was like uh uh hey come on come on don't don't say that so it has been like stuck on my head i'm like ah, 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 for two weeks is too much let's hope next week i'll deliver let's hope so and today i was thinking about the appearance of the baby and i was asking myself is he gonna be tall is he gonna be dark because honestly trust me if it's a boy i want him to look like me yeah, I want boys to look like me but tall and dark and skinny and um, I want my baby to have bushy eyebrows. Hi guys, so it's the next day and um, I just woke up. I want to clean the kitchen, um, wash the dishes, tidy it up, mop the floor. Um, I'm going to do the laundry later on and I'm going to cook with you today. I'm just going to cook spinach, um, pap, and what else? Fish.
and now that my kitchen is all cleaned up i'm going to go ahead and prepare the dinner like i said earlier on today i will be preparing fish spinach and pap and oh i'll also be um cooking i don't know if i should say cooking or frying okay frying <laughs> frying the chili because um the chili that we had that we store in the fridge was um we ran out of it so i decided to make another one because you guys i'm staying with someone who cannot eat without chili Initially, I wanted to fry the spinach aside and the gravy, tomato gravy aside, but because I was already tired, I just decided to mix everything, um, the peppers, the red peppers and the green peppers, tomatoes, all the vegetables that I chopped, I just decided to mix them up. There's no electricity. The electricity just went off. That time, I'm not yet done with my pap. Like, I'm not yet done cooking. I just started. This thing of load shedding can be so annoying sometimes, though we are getting used to it gradually. So I was actually sleeping for like an hour. And then when the electricity came back, it's Abigail who actually woke me up to say the electricity is back. I had to go and continue with the process of cooking because I did not want my kids to go to bed with empty stomach. Um, I know some of you will be like, kids, yes, Francis is also my kid. <laughs> I always tell him, like, you are the firstborn, Abigail is the secondborn. So, yeah, I continue with the process and the lighting, you guys, you can see the lighting because it was at night and the light was really not that enough in the kitchen. But either way, um, I am still continuing and I hope you are still enjoying this content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.
As always, my daughter is here to assist, but trust me, the assistance today was not out of her good will. She was actually curious. Um, as I was busy, she asked me if I'm going to bake. I said, no, I'm not baking. I am going to cook. And she was like, but mommy, I can see the flower there. And I'm like, oh, yes, I'm going to use it to coat the fish. So she was like, coat. I said, yes, I'm going to use it to coat the fish. And she said, but it's not rainy. And I'm like, what do you mean, Abigail? It's not rainy. And then she's like, I only wear the coat when it's rainy. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> That's when I was like, you know what? Let me step up and call her so she can be in the process. And then I called her. I started um, with uh, by giving her the fork to which the egg. So I actually wanted her to do this whole process with me. But the minute that she saw me coating the fish, with the flower that's when she was like okay bye bye i'm going to the bedroom and i was like no don't go let's do it together she was like no i'm going <laughs> so yeah the truth is on another level <laughs> And if you have watched this video this far, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your patience. And I'll definitely see you guys on my next episode. Bye.